Next, we're going to show you how to check your power going into your burner. If you have your machine in the on position and the burner is in the on position and you have a red light on in the control box, but you're not getting any response from the burner, we're going to show you how to check the electric and the power going into the DC controller. First off, we want to just talk about a couple of different tools that you can test with would be a 12 volt testing light or a volt ohm meter that can check the power going into your DC controller. All right, first you want to do with your switch on in the control box is making sure that you have power going into your red wire and your white wire. So as you can see here, we're touching the red wire and we've got a light indicating that we have power going into the red wire. Now we're going to check the white wire and again we have power going in. So we know we have power going to our DC controller, so next we're going to check the DC controller. So now we're going to go ahead and start checking some of the elements of the DC controller. Again with the power in the on position, you can check the fuses, making sure that we have power running through both fuses. So that's telling us that our fuses are in good shape. Then we want to make sure that all the wire nuts are good and tight. All the connections are tight inside the DC controller. So if we have determined that the DC controller is bad, you'll want to change it. Just making sure when you undo your wire nuts and put the new one in that all your black wires go together all your white wires and then these are all color coded you can see that they just match up and these all just plug into your DC controller. New DC controllers all come with wiring guides so this is an easy change out. So now that we've tested our fuses we want to make a visual inspection all around the inside of the DC controller making sure that there's no burn marks or anywhere where it might have shorted out internally. If you see something like that then the DC controller needs to be replaced. Another key element is making sure that the battery is fully charged. It needs to have 14 volts going into the DC controller or it will not let the burner fire. So on our older machines you'll want to also check uh, power going from the battery to the solenoid and this solenoid will be mounted on the frame down in the burner area. You'll have battery coming in on one side and power going out to your burner. So if you're not getting power at your burner plug this would be the next place to check to make sure you've got power going into your solenoid. If you have it going in but not coming out, then the solenoid needs to be replaced.